Hello and welcome to the Freak Marbles Championship here at Fubeka's Marble Lens. I'm Jeremiah and I'll be providing live commentary for this event. We have 25 Freak Marbles competing in today's races, which you can buy at your local store. Try to collect them all. And if you need more information, go to the links down in the description. We have our first group of marbles coming, coming up on the screen here, each with their respective stats on the right side of your screen. And the bottom marble of each round in this video will be eliminated and not make it on to the next round. Here are all the contestants of today's video, each freak marble. And be sure to pick a favorite and watch them as we go along through this season. First off, we have Swift Claws, Ghost, Shadow, Piggly, and Sneaky. And we are off. Who comes out first? It's Piggly by quite a large margin through these traffic cones. And here comes Ghost. And Ghost takes first place. Can Piggly take it back through these hairpins? I am not sure. Piggly having a little bit of trouble on these traffic cones. Ghost trying to run away with it through the tunnel. And through more traffic cones, here comes Swift Claws trying to put some pressure on Piggly, but we only have a couple more turns to go. Can Swift Claws take second place here? No, they get caught up on one of those traffic cones, and Piggly is trying to stay away. Ghost, though, so far ahead, he's just bypassing most of these traffic cones, and I think he's going to be the winner of this first round. And there goes Ghost in first place. Piggly coming in at second. Swift Claw in third. Sticky comes out in fourth. And Shadow will be in fifth and will be eliminated from this tournament. Next up, we have the second round of this qualifying. We have Biba, Godzi, Peapod, Flame Fighter, and Fury. You can see each marble comes with their own little uh, body that you can stick the marble into to make them all more lively as we take a look at all the individual stats for each of these marbles you can see we have weight size defense attack and health stats each one of these stats helps them in a different way in these races and we are off with qualifying too. Who comes out first? It's uh, Flame Fighter being followed by Godzi and Peapod as we go through these traffic cones once again. Peapod now comes out in the lead and is, is extending it by quite a bit. Flame Fighter falling down a little bit here, but there he goes trying to take the lead back and he is able to. Here comes Fury now trying to pressure Flame Fighter. As we go through these traffic cones once again, Peapod takes second place once again. And there goes Fury in the third place over Godzi. Peapod trying to catch up to Flame Fighter. We only have one more turn to go. Can Peapod take the lead in this final turn? It's not looking like it. Flame Fighter straight through the S curves with no problem. And Flame Fighter will be the champion of the second qualifying. Peapod coming in at second and Godzi in third place. Fury coming in at fourth. The last qualifying spot of this group. B-Bug, unfortunately getting eliminated from this event. Next up, we have Sentinel, Monster Eye, Tuffy, Night Watchman, and Baby Bug. Here's Baby Bug. It's also cool because you can see all the different little costumes for each one of these marbles in these stats. So you can pick out your favorite or just root for the marble that you currently have in your collection. Tuffy. Looking very tough here. Can he take the win in this round? We're about to find out. And it is Night Watchman who comes out first, but Tuffy comes out to the lead already early in this race. Night Watchman trying to come up from behind, but Monster Eye is putting some pressure on him as we go through this next hairpin. Can Sentinel come out into third? Yes, he does. Now Night Watchman is stuck on the track, and Night Watchman will DNF. And that's a good sigh of relief for the rest of these marbles because they get guaranteed advancement. Now it's all for bragging rights. Who can come out first in this group? Obviously, it will be Tuffy so far ahead of the rest of these marbles. Into the final spot, and Tuffy comes out with the win. Probably 10 seconds ahead of second place, who is Monster Eye. 
who comes out next, Baby Bug, and then Sentinel. So Night Watchman will be eliminated along with Bee Bug and Shadow. We have two more marbles to eliminate in two more rounds. Which ones will it be? In the next group, we have Gollum. A gold robot type marble, Jelly Eye, a very large eyed alien. And then we have Johnny the Bull, and that pretty much sums it up very well. And Calaverita. Of course, we also have Martian with three eyes and two teeth. And we are off through the traffic cones. And who comes out first? It's uh, Martian being followed by Gollum and Jelly Eye through these traffic cones. It almost act like a Plinko section. And it is Martian who's still able to secure his lead here. Gollum trying to catch up, but it's very difficult to catch up when a marble gets a, a very large lead on this track. Here comes um, Johnny the Bull, though, charging his way up, trying to catch up to Martian. Can his brute force be enough to take the lead here in this race? So close to Martian, who seems to be using his alien abilities to get just enough ahead of Johnny the Bull. But there goes Johnny the Bull here, and Johnny takes the lead in the final turn. Can he keep it through this final section? Yes, Johnny the Bull comes in at first. Martian loses out in the final uh, turn. Calaverita in third, Jelly Eye in fourth, and Gollum DNFing, and he will be eliminated from this tournament. Now for the final qualifying, Five more marbles left to go, and only four will make it to the next video. We have Mimi, which looks like a blue cat. We have Ali, another alien. Let's see if this alien can do better than the last alien in the last group. Next up, we have Botbox and Frosty. And last but not least, Lara, a spider with some cute eyes in the final race of the day, and we're off through the traffic cones. Who comes out in the lead through this first turn? It's Mimi with all her cute powers coming out to the max here. Here comes Botbox, though. He takes the lead through the second turn, but Mimi comes out with a large lead here. Can she hold it for the rest of this race? Here comes Lara, and she takes the lead. As we go through these next couple of turns. Allie in sec uh, third place. Can Mimi take the lead from Lara? Through the hairpins, it's Lara who's still in the lead. Mimi trying to come up, but she loses out to Allie here, who now is putting her uh, sights on Lara. Through the final turn, can Allie take the lead? Yes, he does. Here comes Mimi, though, but no, Mimi will not be able to uh, get into first place. Allie comes out with first, Mimi in second, Frosty in third. But we had a large jam here. Lara was the last marble and the farthest away from the finish line, so she will be eliminated from this tournament. Stay tuned for the next video this Saturday where the remaining 20 marbles will battle it out in the semifinals. And don't forget to go and find Freak Marbles at your local store, collect and trade with your friends, and click the link in the description to learn more. I'm Jeremiah, signing off.